Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Colt News, where he goes to a bank to do his typical harassment and tries to throw shade where re when he really shouldn't. Not only that, we're also going to take a look at him and how he talks and thinks about a woman who asks him not to film. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep this channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. If you're new here, please subscribe to the page. Leave a like and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. Don't forget to check out my second channel and the podcast. New episodes out every week. With that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Outside of a, a city bank. Outside of a city bank. Let's go ahead and aim our cameras at these good folks and see if they recognize and respect our right to take photos and videos in public in publicly accessible places, such as uh, this lovely sidewalk. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Yeah, it's good to see them laughing at the clown and giving the clown some material. But even this guy knows that Colt News is a joke because, you know, why would he take anything he does seriously? I mean, we all know Mike's history from being covered on my channel and other channels. He has a very narcissistic history. He tends to be abrasive. He tends to be the one with all the answers. But really, he's just a buffoon who's thinking he's the press. In reality, he's just a fraud for harassing people. Taking photos of the bank. I'm not taking photos. Oh, okay. You said, you said we. I thought maybe you're just you and I are both doing it. Oh, oh yeah. They're actually calling the police on you. You're taking For, photos inside of a bank. Oh, now and are they aware of the bank. fact? Are, are they aware of the fact that that this isn't North Korea? That people can take photos from public sidewalks or no? Well, not on a bank where so there's private information. Are you under the impression it's against the law? So you're just going to be a jerk. You're not going to answer me. I'm at, uh, dot dot dot. Yes. That's straight for Are you under the impression it's against the law? Idiot, hey, hey, by the way, you're a fucking moron if you think it's against you the law. Too. You are too. You're the one standing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Hey, look Mo at me, right? Rolex, little Louis Vuitton. Yeah, you look like a you, fucking moron you telling me you're calling you're the police loser. for taking pictures on a sidewalk, dude. You're a loser, though. Get a clue, moron. That's why people are calling the police on you, loser. So you heard it. The little, the little bald Asian dude in here said they're calling the police on me. And uh, I'm a loser and he's not because, and I quote, he's got a Rolex. <laughs> Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks. Because there's a few things we need to address. One, the guy never said you're a loser because you don't have a Rolex. He simply called you a loser because you are one. You think you're an activist and you're a journalist. In reality, you're just a YouTube clout chaser. Secondly, why did you need to bring the man's race in, into this whole conversation? You could have simply said 
that the bald gentleman or the gentleman I had a conversation with. Race didn't need to be brought up. And lastly is this. Mike, banks are concerned when people are filling them because they could be scouting them for potential robberies, could be trying to handle data breaches, or becoming a distraction measure to see when the police would show up. In the last few weeks alone, we've had several bank attempts and actual robberies take place. This is all information you can get online by doing a simple Google search. Perhaps the banks are concerned when they see somebody out there looking suspicious as you do, not to mention your plant that you have with you at all times. Hold them with a sharp stick. Hey, little man. Hey, Rolex. When the, when the police stopped laughing at you, what'd they tell you? Did they say they're going to be on the way out here to get the guy taking photos oh, from the public sidewalk? Hey, show me your stuff, dude. Pick it up. <laughs> what'd the cops say after they stopped laughing at you? Boom. Roasted. How's that Rolex treating you? How's that Rolex? Oh, a BMW. All right. Oh, I got to get your plate number real quick. I got, I'm going to swing around. Yeah, I, I'm going to come around. I am. I'm coming around. There you go. Nine Charlie Fargo Tango 499. I got it. Stand outside on the sidewalk taking pictures isn't harassment, dumbass. I understand you. Damn! Napoleon oh, complex. What are you like? Five foot? Sir. What are you like? Five foot two? I get it. I get it. little hey, tiny man. Little, little tiny man. Big huge ego. I've seen it before. Hey, where's your money? Where's your bank account? You don't have any. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans yet again. Because, Mike, you have no room pe to be throwing shade around about him being trespassed. Because you were trespassed at Salt Lake City when you were trespassed from the Mormon Church and arrested for that. Not to mention all your other trespassing and arrest charges that you've picked up since you started your fraudulent career. I mean, yeah, it's wrong that he did something to cause himself to be trespassed. However, you don't have the right to make fun of him for that. You've done way worse, like the time in Columbus when you decided to brandish a taser? Or how about when you pepper sprayed an elderly man because you and Stacy staged it for him to come at you? Yeah, you shouldn't be throwing stones in that glass house of yours claims I'm harassing customers to the point where they don't want to come outside. I haven't talked to a single solitary customer. <laughs> no complaints in yourself. What's up, Sarge? I guess I got a call about you taking pictures. Oh my God, that's a crime of the century. I hope the dispatchers are telling these people, yeah, the public sidewalk, cameras, not, not a crime. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. I know some guy came outside and started screaming at me, telling they're going to call the police. And I said, well, the good news is I'm not breaking the law. The bad news is stupidity can't be fixed. So I'm sorry, sir. Don't, don't abuse the 911 system, but yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I know. I figured. Yeah. So Were you going to talk to them at all? Are you going in there? So I'm going to make the call in, but it's I let understand it's other customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just so you know, I'm, I'm not, the guy said, you're harassing customers. I said, sorry, I haven't, I haven't talked to any of your customers. They'll say oh, yeah, yeah. Say oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, I know how it is. I know how it is. That people, they lie 90% of the time when they call in on somebody like me. Appreciate you, Sarge. Have a, have a good one. Now, I'll be the first to say, yes, Mike does have a constitutional right to film on a sidewalk or in a public place. However, 
it's not the issue of where he's filming, but his actions of on how he's filming and how he interacts with people. Yes, he could have calmly talked to this uh, vice president of the bank and could have de-escalated the situation and said, hey, look, I'm just filming. I'm legally allowed to do this. I'm not doing anything to escalate the situation. But he's choosing to do so. He's the one who wants the interaction to go negative from the person who comes out to speak to him. Because all fraudsters need that to get the clicks and views. They will call these people Karens and Darens and whatever nonsense they want to get the interactions. So now let's jump ahead to where Mike goes to these uh, San Diego Board of Elections and has an interaction with a woman who doesn't want her to be filmed by him and get his thoughts on that and what he thinks about the real press. Am I am I with it? Did you check in with Antonia? I'm 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 standing out here on the public sidewalk, 25 feet away from the doors. Is there something I can help you with, ma'am? Well, I'm trying to understand. You're trying to understand how how cameras work, or what are you trying to understand? Hey, that guy's a dick. You don't have to be aggressive with me. I'm not being aggressive. I asked you a simple question. What are you trying to understand? I can help you understand. So my question is, did you any media that we have? Did you check in with our media coordinator? No, a check in for what purpose? I'm standing out here 25 feet from the doors. What what would I need to check in for exactly? Are you recording me? I am recording you, yes. Can what? you turn that off? Because I don't want to be recorded. <laughs> then maybe you should get away from me, ma'am. I'm out here taking pictures and video of the uh, of okay, the I'm building. You do that. You do that. Good luck with that. Make sure you let them know I'm 26 feet away from the doors, ma'am. Now, he didn't have to talk to her like that. He didn't have to be this aggressive, and he didn't have to be, well, a dick. He could have simply talked to her in a calm way and explained, yeah, I'm an independent journalist, all this typical fraud or bullshit. But she's simply asking a legitimate question. If you're a member of the press or the media, did you check in with their media co uh, coordinator? Perhaps you could have actually gotten a tour of the facility. You could have actually gotten more privileges. Because that's the job of the media coordinator. They could have helped you out in your endeavor. Instead, you chose to be an asshole. And then they accuse me of being aggressive. Seriously. Really? Get help. Get help. As you all know, I already have a producer. I don't need a, another one that I've never met before telling me how to take photos and where to aim my cameras and all that. I just don't need that nonsense. So, I measured. I'm actually 25 feet away from the, the doors is right about where that little spot is there. So I'm actually about 27 feet away. We'll go ahead and measure and show the viewers here exactly how far we are from these doors. Okay, so i got a little device here. I'm going to aim it right over there at these doors. Wait, I'm going to pull it right here by the camera. There we go. Let's see. Boom. I'm going to measure three times. There's one, there's two, three. Boom. There you go, three measurements that I took. Where I'm standing right here, where the camera is, is 30.299 feet, or 30.502 feet, or 30.4. It's very clear that my camera is actually 30 feet away from these doors. picked the wrong job if you don't want to be on camera girl uh, I mean you're 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 you probably don't want to work outside here if you don't want to be on camera today that's that's what I'm at here to shoot is well, entrance to this building okay um I'm just saying like if you can just like accept my face or uh, I, I'll, I'll see what I'll I can do I'll use as little footage of you as possible but yeah I, I'm kind of I'm aiming this direction I won't be here all day. I don't know if I can do that, but as of right now, you're not actually in the frame. It's just kind okay, of perfect. right there. Okay, yeah, that's fine. This gal is going around asking anybody with a camera out here to not get her on camera. It's a little strange, 
a little strange. So I didn't take my camera inside here uh, just now, but I did go in there and talk to the woman who was busting my chops about this. And I appreciate the irony. She actually said that she's scared of me. She's scared of me. I, I mean, I don't know if, if it's, she doesn't want her picture taken because she feels she's not an attractive woman. I don't know what the story is there, but why somebody taking photos of a registrar voters location and a, and a polling location the day before a historic election, why that would frighten somebody is, is baffling to me. Well, it's not that baffling. I mean, this was one of the most heated and, well, div divisive elections we've had in years. You know, I'm not going to get into the whole politics of it, but there were a lot of people on both sides who were very aggressive. Not to mention, Mike, let's take into consideration, she may not know your history like we do. Now, you have been very aggressive towards women before in the past. I mean, the three bank tellers in Columbus, Ohio, that you brandished a taser at. The fact that you are not afraid to mouth off and fly off the handle. You do carry a taser. You carry pepper spray. You are an aggressive person, and, well... I'm a man. I would still be kind of intimidated by somebody who's acting the way you've acted in the past. But I went in there and pointed out the fact that she was busting my chops. But, you know, when a woman is standing here, clearly closer than 25 feet from the building taking photos, she had no problem with that. So it looks like it's a little selective. I guess she's not afraid of a woman with a camera, but she is afraid of a man with a camera. Very interesting. So, it seems Imelda has changed her mind in there regarding the distance one can be from the uh, the building. They're uh, they're fairly inconsistent. They're out here busting my chops earlier because I was standing about where you are, and they're telling me that I couldn't do that legally. So I stepped back to the 25 foot mark, and and then it turns out they're not really enforcing that. They're just enforcing it on me. So. Uh, I am a member of the press that doesn't ask permission where I can take photos and videos because I know my rights. <laughs> Care to revise your statement, sir? What? Do you want to change your bullshit story, sir? Yeah, I, uh, I, I can't say, actually. I, that could... Uh, that, a member of the press here is supposed to talk to you. Not yet. You're, you're, clearly, you're, you're clearly not either not a member of the press or you don't know your rights. You do not need to tell them who you are with if you're a member of the press. By the way, the crazy lady inside that says that I was frightening her, the gentleman next to her said that it was my attitude that scared her, not my camera, my attitude. Apparently, when you know your rights, and you don't listen to their bullshit, that scares them. Well, it's not that you know your rights and they're trying to get you to do what they want to do. They're enforcing policies and laws for their state. If their state says you can't be within 25 feet of the doorway to take photos, then you can't be within 25 feet. Now, this woman did bring up a valid point. If you are a member of the press, you could have gone in there before and spoke to the media uh, correspondent or liaison and gotten more information, gotten more privileges. Perhaps this woman that you were speaking with is an actual journalist. Maybe she works for a news outlet or a newspaper, and she's just getting some photos for the, for the paper or for the story. But, Mike, your attitude is something that people have had issues with in the past because you are always the, the aggressor. And I'll be frank with you, I kind of like that scares them. I, I like that. So, um, know your rights. Don't let people tell you what you can and can't do if you already know what you're doing is illegal. 
and contrary to some members of the uh, the media, you do not need to tell them which uh, organization you are working for when you're outside taking photos and videos in public and publicly accessible places. Now, a lot of members of media will go in there and they'll kiss their ass and they'll get permission for this and they'll wear a little lanyard and badge. That's not necessary in the United States of America, perhaps North Korea, I don't know, but in America, you do not need to tell them who you work for when you're out gathering content for a story for the press. And we're going to end it here, folks. But there is something I do want to address. His comment that he said that, you know, he likes it, that they're afraid of him and they're intimidated by him. That's just wrong. You know, that's not you being a journalist. That's you just being a bully. If you want to call yourself a journalist, then you need to act like a journalist. You need to follow the ethics and standards of journalism. And you are not doing that. You are nothing more than a bully with a camera trying to get a reaction for your YouTube channel. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps with the algorithm. Don't forget to check out my second channel and the podcast. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. And a special thanks to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart.